you may recognize our next guest. He was featured in the story on this show after he donated to our department's CERT team, and he's done it again. Richard Herod III is the general manager of White Bear Mitsubishi dealership. And thank you for getting us out of the cold and rain today and allowing us to be inside. So we appreciate taping inside whenever yeah. we get the chance. Our pleasure, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit of the history of the dealership and how, how things have been going lately? Sure, well, this dealership started as a Saturn dealership in 1990. And uh, in the last almost 30 years, uh, this dealership has helped sell hundreds of thousands of vehicles and helped perform uh, many oil changes uh, to local community. And with that being said, uh, in 2010, we switched to Mitsubishi when uh, GM ended the Saturn franchise. Okay. Uh, and luckily most of our employees and most of our customers stayed with us. Yeah. And because of that, uh, over the last nine years, we've grown to be the number two Mitsubishi dealership in the country. So, oh, wow. so it's been a pretty, pretty exciting journey. Yeah, yes. yeah. How did your sponsorship with the Barely Open come to be? Uh, it started with an email. I was just uh, sitting on my phone and, you know, of course, Facebook this, Facebook that, and all of a sudden <laughs> an email popped up and it was from Lisa. And she mentioned that the sponsor for last year's Barely Open had canceled at the last minute and they were in desperate need of a title sponsor uh, for the event. And I responded right away and said, sure, let me know what you need. And she's like, the full amount. And I said, sure, we'll send you a check. No problem. So Perfect. I guess that's how it started. Nice. Well, yeah, that's good. And you guys have sponsored other things, our CERT. Um, you've also donated some little, cute little Mitsubishi bears to yeah, our little, department that we give out bears. to kids. Um, you know, if we deal with tragedy with kids and stuff, it kind of helps them to get either blankets or bears. So you've done that, but you've other, done other things as well. Yeah, we actually have sponsored Bulletproof Vest for canine dogs in Ramsey County. Uh, so we, we tend to try to be involved in the community as much as possible. You'll see us at Market Fest. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see us kind of all over the place. Perfect. Yeah. Let me see the bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to ask, who's beneath the bear costume? We can't tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, typic it's, typ it's, it's one of a few different people, uh, <laughs> but typically it's either an employee or someone who works at our advertising agency. If it's in a parade, it might be a summer intern. Uh, but we'll, we never we never disclose like Goldie the Gopher. We right. never we never yep. unmask who's inside the bear. And apparently there was something that happened at Barely Open with the poor bear. Yeah, so you know the, the bear is ironically not that good on ice. And, you know we had a video go viral once because of that. Uh, but he was uh, swinging a golf club on ice and he completely ate pavement. Oh, you know. the bear's okay. He's fine. Well, okay. luckily, luckily the costume provides enough padding. Nice. So when he Good. falls face forward or falls backwards, the, the person inside the bear is fine. And I think the bear has done the, the polar plunge too. Yeah, right? every the single year. Olympics. Yeah, we've been doing the polar plunge. Nice. Uh, every year, I think for the last five or six years. So. And so where does the spirit of giving come from? Well, one of our values at our dealership um, is the value of being a good community citizen. And for that purpose, you know, we, we believe that in order to be present in the community, it, it requires us to be present with our time, mm -hmm. you know, with our money and our resources. So, you know, we look for ways to give back whenever we can because this community has been so good to us. I mean, and our customers have. I mean, when you when you have a franchise change, you know, from Saturn to Mitsubishi, you know, it was one of those moments where, okay, how's this gonna go? And, right. you know, the community and our customers followed us and they've helped us grow. And we're actually in the middle of a big remodel project right now because we're doing so much express service in our lube bay. Yeah. Um, we actually do almost a thousand oil changes a month on all kinds of cars. So because of that, we had to double our customer waiting area. So hopefully that'll be next done next week. And so that's <laughs> what we're in the middle of here. We're is... in the middle of a construction zone. <laughs> so we're outside of the weather, but yeah. we're inside a construction zone. <laughs> and apparently it's, it's no stranger to have cameras in here and you're doing commercials all the time. How is that for you when you're, you know, in public somewhere? Do you get um, recognized? I do. I, I forget that I'm on TV uh, <laughs> just because it's my job. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't walk around saying, hey, I'm that guy on TV. Yeah. Because uh, people typically interrupt my dinner to tell me <laughs> that I'm that guy on TV. But most of the time, you know, they just want to ask me where the bear is sleeping or where is the bear or <laughs> yeah. anything else like that. But, yeah. you know, I think it's all in good fun. I mean, yeah. I'm on TV with a seven foot tall mascot. <laughs> yeah. So I should, I should expect it. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Brings well, a lot of attention. Yeah. Yes. We appreciate all that you've done for the community and yeah. for our department and helping with CERT and giving yeah. back to everybody in White Bear and White Bear Lake area. And we appreciate you allowing us to be here today. Yeah. So thank pleasure. you very Absolutely. much. Thank it's you. been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you.